Salam and good day everyone. Okay, so for today we will be going through chapter 2, analyzing the business case. Okay, so if you remember, okay, from previous uh, chapter, okay, uh, there are mapping cost topic, okay, with uh, SDLC. So, for this chapter 2 is under mapping with the system planning okay so system planning is the first of five phases in the SDLC so in this space you will learn how IT projects get started and how a system analyst evaluates a proposed project and determines its feasibility okay so this is the outline okay for this topic so for the first one strategic planning a framework for it system development information system projects okay third one evaluation of system requests uh, next overview of feasibility and lastly preliminary investigation overview okay so moving on to the introduction okay so the term business case refers to the reasons or justification okay for a proposal okay that you want to uh, create okay so a strong business case suggests that the company should pursue the alternative okay above other option because it would be in the firm's best interest to do so okay so, in order for you to develop any system or any project, okay, you need to come out with the business case. You need to analyze. So, next, okay, strategic planning overview. So, strategic planning, okay, is the process of identifying long-term organizational goals, strategies, and resources, okay. So, this is the SWOT analysis, strength, weakness, opportunities, and also threat, okay? So, for the example of the SWOT analysis, okay, for the strength, okay? In order for you to identify the company strength, okay, you need to um, question yourself, okay, how to maximize the strength in terms of people, technology, and also infrastructure, okay for the weakness okay what are the weakness that you will uh, overcome okay and then opportunities okay what are the opportunities okay do you need uh, it plans to support okay and for the threats okay what are the major threats okay can you deal with uh, that okay so basically uh, a SWOT analysis contributes to the strategic planning process by identifying technical, human, and also financial resources. Okay. So, as you, as you can see here, okay, the figure here, okay, for the mission statement, the definition is, a document or statement that describe the company for its stakeholders and briefly states the company's overall purpose, product, services and values. Okay. You need to uh, state. Okay. These three. And then for the stakeholders. Okay. Anyone who is affected by the, by the company's performance such as uh, customers, employees, suppliers, stockholders, and members of the community. Okay, and the goals is uh, support the accomplishment of a mission. Okay, meaning that you can see in terms of years, for example. Okay, in the company. And then, objective. Okay, so basically, objective support the goals. Okay, because... It generally have a shorter time frame than goals and might include the tactical plan. Okay, so moving on to the 
information system projects okay so the system request will include all of this okay in order for you to improve the services okay improve the customer satisfaction uh, and then uh, second one better performance okay uh, third one uh, more information okay stronger controls reduce cost and lastly support for new a product so the factors that affect the system projects okay it will include the internal and also external factors okay that affect every business decision that a company makes okay so for the internal factors including the strategic plan top managers user request okay user requirement and it department and also the existing systems okay for the external factors okay include the technology suppliers customers okay competitors for example economy and also the government okay so as you can see here the explanation on the internal factors and also the external factors okay so for the strategic plan okay it include the overall direction okay objectives goal top managers okay directive comes from strategic business decision okay for example decision making and for the user request okay it will include the internal system okay maybe that users want a better system okay to increase their uh, productivity of the company okay for example for the it department okay request a recommendation from the department itself request from the uh, workers okay and for the existing system and data okay problems or errors okay with current system for example then it will make to request a new system to um uh, to enhance or to exchange okay and then for the external factors okay there are technology okay maybe that uh, changing the technology to reshape the existing business okay for the supplier um relationship with suppliers okay customer so basically customer is the uh, important component okay which means that top top priority okay and then uh, competitors okay economy and also the government okay next okay evaluation of a uh, system request okay so many organization okay use a special form for system request okay so uh, it must be easy to understand and include clear instruction okay for the customer especially okay and you should include uh, enough space okay for all required information and indicate what supporting documents that will be needed okay for the uh, user for the customer all right and after that okay it department will receive a system request okay by the user and then it manager will evaluate the system request form okay they need to evaluate okay to study if the request is worth it okay and need to set some priorities okay So this is the example of the system request form. Okay. Next, okay, system request must pass several tests. Okay, we call it uh, a feasibility study. Okay, to see whether it is uh, worth it to proceed further. Okay. So for the first one is the operational uh, feasibility. Okay, a proper system will be used effectively after it has been developed. Okay, 
Next, uh, technical. So technical refers to technical resources that needed to develop, purchase, okay, install or operate the system. And economic, okay, total cost of ownership, okay. This one you can measure in terms of tangible benefit and also intangible benefit. Okay. Okay. Next. Okay. We have a uh, schedule uh, feasibility. Okay. It means that a project can be implemented. Implemented. Okay. Uh, within uh, the time frame. Okay. Alright, so an initial investigation to clearly identify the nature and scope of the business opportunity or problem. Okay, so meaning that uh, you need to identify the project scope, okay, the constraint, okay, or the proper system, okay, the uh, project benefit, okay, the problem or opportunity, okay, for the proper system, and also the development time and cost. Okay, for the project. Alright, so we moving on to the preliminary investigation overview. Okay, okay, planning the preliminary investigation. For the first step, okay, you need to understand the problem or opportunity. Okay, so meaning that, okay, when you analyze a system request, okay, you need to determine which department uh, users and business processes are involved okay and then okay you can use a technique okay uh, for investigating causes and effects okay we call it a uh, fishbone or ishikawa diagram uh, basically it is uh, an analysis tool that represent the possible causes of the problem okay as a uh, graphical outline okay another tools you can use a uh, Pareto chart okay for visualizing and uh, prioritizing issues okay that need uh, attention so this is the example of the fishbone uh, diagram okay so, as you can see here, okay, 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 consider this figure, okay, uh, basically, um, the basic concept, okay, in the fishbone diagram, okay, is the name of a basic problem is entered at the right of the diagram and in the end of the main bone, okay, so this is the problem of interest, okay product failure so basically at an angle to this main bone allocated typically three uh, to sub to three to six sub bones okay which are the contributing general causes to the problem under consideration so for the step two second step okay you need to define the project scope and constraint okay scope means that uh, a specific determination of a project's boundaries or extent okay in other words uh, it is uh, what needs to be achieved okay and the work that must be done okay to deliver a project okay so for the project constraint okay a condition that the system must satisfy or an uh, or an outcome that the system must achieve okay it can be in terms of hardware software policy law or cost so there are several types of constraint okay um present versus a uh, future okay so for the present versus a uh, future is something that must be there as soon as a system is developed or modified okay or only necessary in future for the internal versus external okay the constraint requirement uh, meaning that uh, within the company or outside the company for example government uh, regulation 
okay and then also mandatory versus desirable okay okay so you can see this uh, figure okay okay next step okay perform fact finding okay so perform fact finding still under sdp okay so the fact finding uh, involves various techniques okay depending on what information is needed in order for you to investigate the system request okay fact finding um sometimes consume several hours okay uh, days or maybe weeks okay depending on the project um it's that okay so types of fact finding techniques okay you can analyze uh, the organization charts okay you can review uh, the documentation okay the plan for example okay you can observe uh, the operations okay and maybe you can conduct a user survey in order for you to find out uh, what kind of system what kind of uh, website uh, that user one that customer one for example maybe you can conduct interviews uh interview session with uh owner of the company in order for you to to know the the flow of the current situation okay so uh maybe they use uh they calculate manually okay using the calculator okay so that one is uh, sometimes uh, triggered to mistakes okay due to human errors okay or uh, maybe uh, they doesn't have a proper record to keep uh, the receipt for their customers okay so that one is the example uh, if you can conduct interview session with the interviewee okay so there are steps okay to conduct interview session okay so basically the first step you need to determine the people you want to interview okay you must know the objective uh, for the interview okay and then you must develop interview question before you interview uh, the company or or maybe the owner of the company okay and then you need to prepare for the interview okay and conduct the interview after that uh, document the interview so that uh, you can analyze okay what what kind of information that you get from uh, the interviewee okay and then lastly you can evaluate the interview okay so basically this is a very important okay in order for you to uh, know uh, the purpose of you develop the system for that company okay and then in the step four okay you need to evaluate feasibility meaning that evaluate operational technical economic economical and uh, schedule feasibility okay in the step five okay you need to estimate project development time and cost okay for example uh, what information must you obtain and how uh, will you gather and analyze the information okay what kind of uh, information that you will use okay and what difficulties that will you encounter in uh, order for you to obtain the information okay or maybe you uh you want to conduct interview session okay how many people that will you interview okay and then uh maybe you can uh conduct a survey okay how how many pers uh, how many people that will involve that will be involved in your survey for example the the what we call the age group for example okay so that is uh, the estimate project development time and cost okay in the last step okay you need to present uh, 
results and uh, recommendations to management. So, your report will include the uh, introduction, okay, system request summary, findings, recommendations, okay, time and cost estimates, okay, and expected benefits, and lastly, appendix, okay, for your preliminary investigation report. So, that's all for today, okay.